Friday on CNN, Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, D. Florida, continued to voice her opposition to President Donald Trump, who she criticized for his immigration policies. The Florida Democrat also voiced his displeasure in being barred from entering a detention center in Homestead, Florida, a facility near her congressional district. To that, I say that it really feels more like we have a comic book villain in the White House than a president, she said. This is a president who flouts the law and has been repeatedly rejected in his outrageous, horrendous policies like these over and over. When he first became president, he tried to ban mostly immigrants from Muslim certain Muslim countries and was rejected by a court. Recently, he was just rejected by a court from requiring people seeking asylum to be held in Mexico while their asylum applications will be in process. That was rejected. He was rejected from being able to forcibly separate children from their families at the border. Dottie has been rejected in, repeatedly in trying to end temporary protective status for immigrants from countries that it's dangerous for them to return to, Wasserman Schultz continued. Over and over and over again, this president's policies, which are outrageous and inhumane, have been rejected by courts. And then Monday, Brooke, after myself and Congresswomen Donna Shalala and Mew Carcel Powell attempted to conduct oversight by visiting the Homestead Detention Center, which just announced its second expansion of more than 1,000 children, we're going to go over 3,000 unaccompanied minors that are housed there, we were denied access, despite the fact that last year I passed a law requiring the Office of Refugee Resettlement to allow members of Congress in, no questions asked, without any time limits, to conduct proper oversight to make sure children are being well cared for. So they continually flout the law. And the judicial branch continues to reject them.